is the story from the beginning. The foundation of Kirwan date to about the year 670, when the Arab general Uqba ibn Nafa of Khalifa Muawiyah selected a site in the middle of the defense forest as the location of a military post for the conquest of the West. It became an important center for Islamic scholarship and Quranic learning, and thus attracting many Muslims from various parts of the world. Kirwan is considered by many to be the fourth holiest city of Islam after Mecca, Medina, and Jerusalem because of the Great Mosque of Sidi Aqba, which is one of the most impressive and largest Islamic monument in North Africa. Originally built when Kirwan was founded in 670, the mosque currently occupied an area of 9,000 square meter and it's the most oldest place of worship in the Islamic world. Kirwan also has so many historical monuments, for example, Bir Barrota is considered one of the oldest well in the city of Kirwan and the legend revolved around it now among all Tunisians. According to an ancient popular belief, it is connected to the holy well of Mecca, Zamzam. And according to another legend, a person lost his ring one day in the well of Zamzam and later found it in this place. The well was dug in 796 but was rebuilt in 1690 with the permission of Muhammad Bey al Muradi, 5th day of Tunis. One another historical monument is called Al Aglabiyya Basin. The Aglabid Basin are a Tunisian historical monument located in Kirwan, dating from the beginning of 9th century and located outside the rampart of the Medina of Kirwan. They are considered to be the most important hydraulic system in the history of Muslim world. Years after years after years, till we arrived to 1956, which is the Independence Day of Tunisia. Starting this day till now, the old city getting older and older without any improvement. Zero progress in the economy, zero progress in the healthcare system, zero progress in the infrastructure, ranking first in unemployment in Tunisia, till we arrive to 2021 when the ghost attacked the city without any signal. Nothing starts without reason. Out of 600,000 population in Kirwan, 300,000 are positive with COVID-19. This disaster happened because of you, because of the ignorance of some people, and the non-respect of social distance, because the weakness of the healthcare system, because the government received $15 million in 2017 as a gift from Saudi Arabia to establish a full specialized hospital in Kirwan and they didn't start till now. منحة بمبلغ 100 مليون دولار يخصص منها 85 مليون دولار لإنشاء مستشفى شامل للتخصصات في مدينة القيروان. Because the non-availability of oxygen, because of the politician and representative of parliament who didn't defend the oldest city in Tunisia, because of the wrong decision of the mayor and the governor. The situation is almost similar to Italy and India. All Arabic and international media reacting and spread the news. Believe it or not, in 2021, the nurse don't have the basic tools to help the sick people. In 2021, an expected full shutdown electricity in all city without backup generator, while sick people are under artificial respiration machine. In 2021, people sell their land and their house so they can afford to have one night in ICU with $1,100. In 2021, life of human depend to host of oxygen. In 2021, people go night to the cemetery to bury dead people. In 2021, the city with 600,000 population fight with the virus corona with 98 bed with oxygen and 13 intensive care and recovery bed. In 2021, this lady lost 10 of her family because of the virus. <laughs> Seven days. 
Bebele, wana kumai Bebele on telephone. And the result is 100 deaths in only two weeks. Full lockdown in the city. 60% of the Kerwan population are positive case. And people do not have income because they close their shop. And in the end, I'm sharing this story with you to show you what's the consequence of the negligence to the virus. Take it seriously, respect the social distance, make a vaccination and stay safe. And for my city, I want to send my deep condolence to who lost someone from his family during this pandemic. And I will never forget the decision maker in my country for the situation that we reach now. Hasbunallah wa na'am al All what I'm asking from you guys is just to pray for my city. Pray for Kirwan. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allah.